These are young entrepreneurs who, because of constraints that face startups and small businesses, think network of young, like-minded entrepreneurs might be a good place to start taking advantage of and actually thrive. Speaking at the UN team sideline meeting, they explained that this approach also helps amplify the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We're always seeing how can I benefit from this person. For example, my colleague who is doing um, real estate, how can I benefit from real estate? How can I benefit from the person doing share butter? How can we work together collectively to bring about sustainability? So for me, I've benefited a lot from partnerships. I've been in position to tap into that knowledge. I think partnerships is bigger than even any money that someone can ever bring for you. Because through partnerships, you learn. Through partnerships, you're in position to, to, to do extra. So for instance, when the UN office gives us visibility for our products and the work we are doing in Otuke, that is partnership. Because we are contributing to goal 8, which is decent work and economic growth. We are contributing to goal 13, which is climate action. And because we also work with women, we are contributing to goal five, which is gender equality. And for us to be able to do this, for instance, you as media is giving me visibility. That is partnership for the goal. So it's, you, you cannot talk about um, one group and how do you bring them together? No, we need diversity. We need coordination. We need cohesion. And we need most importantly than all, a link from the farm all the way to the supermarket. So for that, there will be diverse roles for women and for youth. The few Ugandans already in the monetized economy face high cost of doing business, which limits their effort to create wealth and more jobs. And with difficulties in establishing linkages with existing businesses, perhaps tapping into their own circles by way of partnership will help them unlock the economic potential of the youths in the country. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.